Hey, Grade Eights, it's Mr. Maya here coming to you from home uh, with your first creative tasking that I'm going to get you to do during your art at home period here. Um, this past week, you reviewed the elements of art from last year, so line, shape, color, form, uh, texture, uh, value, and space. And again, value, remember, is that shadow effect. And then this week, you looked at the principles of art, those six principles that combine those elements to create more depth and meaning in your image. So for your first uh, creative task I'd like you to do is just on blank paper, I'd like you to create a unique design that demonstrates your understanding of either repetition or pattern, movement, color, or value. So that means if you don't want to include color, you don't have to, but I, then I want some sort of shading. Okay? You can show value in use of color as well, right? You can use a light blue to a dark blue that shows value. Emphasis, so I'd like something to stand out. Uh, and then include some element of texture, so make it appear like it feels like something. Right? You can use whatever mediums you have at home. Use multiple mediums, mix them up if you'd like, or just use pencil, pencil, crayons, markers, whatever you have at home that works out fine. Um, if we were doing this in my class, you would have about three periods to do that. So you're looking at about two hours, two plus uh, over the course of the next week uh, to do this project. But use as much time as you really want to uh, as you look for stuff to do. We'll look at a couple examples here so you know what I'm sort of looking for. So the first example here is this sort of snake or cobra. Right? We see the movement in the body, we see the emphasis in the tongue and the drool coming out of the mouth of the cobra. We see the texture uh, in the scales. That texture also gives us repetition in the scales. Uh, and then here they've used the value, so it's shaded. There's no actual color included in, in the snake, but it includes everything else. Uh, the flower design here, right? Very unique, very colorful, very creative, so definitely uses color. Uh, repetition is there by repetitions of shapes of the flowers and shapes of the leaves. Uh, we have texture again. We, the leaves and flowers feel like look like they feel like something. Uh, there's a pattern, the way it moves together, it, it brings us uh, that way. And then emphasis, that red flower it, in the center, and it is very emphasized. It pops right off the page. It brings your eye right to it, so it shows us uh, that, that principle of art. We scroll down a little bit further. We've got a knight here, right? We're the knights at St. Pete's, so it fits that we have a knight. Here we've got a Templar knight. Again, we see movement in him walking, the way he's carrying uh, his sword and shield, the cape flowing behind him, right? The texture shows up in the chain mail. There's color and value throughout him. Uh, there's emphasis, again, in the very white colors, but the, the red cross of the Templar logo, uh, very emphasized and shows there. And then here we have Natsu, uh, you know, one of our famous anime characters. Again, we've got movement in the flames coming off of him. We've got emphasis in the eyes as he's looking at you. Various color and value in both the hair and the body and the, sh and the clouds behind him, right? So just by looking at these four examples, that there is an endless number of opportunities that you can use to show me uh, your understanding of the principles of art. Um, realistically, do something that you like and enjoy. If you can't think of something, Google image search an idea, jump onto Pinterest, find something that works and fits you think. All I'm going to ask is that you don't copy it uh, off the internet. Make it your own. So if you find something that you like, change it up a bit, add your own elements into it, uh, change the colors, change the features, change what's emphasized, totally your call. Uh, once it's done, I'd like you to take a picture of your work, upload it into Hapara. I'll put a Google Doc uh, again like I did the last time. And then let me know if I can share your work on Twitter as well. I love sharing what you guys are doing at home with other teachers, principals, and other students at home to show what we're all doing. Uh, you know, give us something to look at and, and enjoy while we do this. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, again, let me know. Uh, good luck this week, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create.